Nara Mutse. Good morning to yet another beautiful day right here in Chigali. Today is a special day, guys. Today is the day I'm going to be signing the list to the gym contract. Signing the biggest contract of my life, spending the most money I've ever spent in my life. So I thought I'll take you along with me. It's an exciting day, at least for me. So uh, I wanted to share with you. Hello, wonderful peoples. Welcome back to episode three of this YouTube series of opening my first official gym location here in Chigali, Rwanda. I've decided to make this a YouTube series just for my own sake, so I can look back at this journey in the future and just to document everything, how it went. So if you're new here, my name is Theo. I make YouTube videos here online. I've been taking a small break here and there, but as you can see on my name, I am back. In this video, guys, I want to talk about money. How much is this move going to take? So just to give you a small recap, in the first episode, uh, I was looking for a new gym location because my current gym space was becoming too small. I found one and I took some measurements just to calculate on how big and, and how, how everything will look like and will cost, basically. In the second episode, I showed you a virtual tour of the gym. That's where I calculated the actual size and the equipment, how it would look so that I could make a good estimate on what kind of equipment I would need and how the, also the renovation will look like. So in today's episode, episode number three, I want to talk about money. How much is this all going to cost? So I made like a small master plan, I would say. There are three things that will need a lot of money and investment that I need to pay for to make this move happen. Number one is going to be the rent and the deposit. Number two is going to be the renovations. And number three is going to be gym equipment to supplement the current gym equipment also because it is a bigger facility. So let's start with number one, the rent and deposit. So after taking those measurements, I got in contact with the landlord and we started this to discuss, you know, business, how much. Uh, the landlord is asking for $1,500 a month for rent. This, that, that, this does not include the small miscellaneous fees of uh, around $200, which will include like water, electricity, uh, cleaning, security, all of those things. Um, so at the moment of signing, he wants me to pay at least one month in, one month in advance, plus play, pay a two month deposit fee. Um, so one month that will be 1,500 and the two months deposit will be 3,000. So together it will be 4,000. 500 at signing so my initial thought was like this is a lot or maybe this is not a lot i really don't have a good gauge on how much to pay but i did know uh seeing that the square meter uh, how much i was paying per square meter it sounded somehow fair because i know the chigali prices here are quite expensive and i'm in luck because this spot is more of like a warehouse and warehouses usually range between five to ten dollars per square meter and this one will put it around uh around eleven dollars basically um, so the second step, the renovations. So meet Kazungu. Kazungu is a guy I met through my uncle. He's the, he's a, he's like an engineer, I would say. Um, he does all the renovations at my uncle's house, the one that I used to live with. They've been working with him for quite some uh, time. I also worked with him one time and I got some good vibes out of him. So I decided to contract him to see if he can do the job. And he was eager, he was like, yeah, of course I can do it. So I called him up and this is him together with his plumber. He has a whole team that he works with. So they came and together we did some calculations. I told them about the vision, showed them some pictures from the rendering, from the 3D floor planning, um, and just trying to explain how a CrossFit gym looks like and what it will take. As you can imagine, it's not easy to explain to someone what a CrossFit gym is in the West. It's extra tough to explain to a Rwandan who probably has never seen or has never gone to a functional fitness gym. But I got a feeling that he, he, he got the essence of it. And, um, and so he went and made a quotation together with his plumber. And his quotation came around 4,500 for all of the renovations, inclu including the plumbing. Um, and lastly, point number three, the equipment. So because we're moving to a bigger space, we'll need some more equipment, you know, to accommodate more clients. Now, luckily, or maybe smart of me, um, during the pandemic, I started a new business of selling gym equipment. 
So I had been buying some equipment in advance. So I already have most of the equipment actually already in stock. I would just need to buy it for myself. Uh, things like uh, dumbbells, kettlebells, you know, jump ropes, all of those things I already had in stock. One type of equipment I did not have though, and those are the cardio machines. So in CrossFit, uh, the most f famous and the most used cardio machine is a rower, and to be specific, a Concept2 rower. And these ones are all made in America. They are quite expensive and you cannot get um, every, any other machine basically. So it needs to be Concept2 rower. In the current space, we have three Concept2 two machines, two rowers and one ski erg, and we'll be doing fine with it for like six to eight people. But it's a bit of a hassle, borrowing, sharing, um, so I'll need to invest into more. So after going on the website of the Concept2 uh, company, I realized that they give you a whole 5% discount if you order five rowers or more. So th that will make it around $300, and I will take any discount that I can take. So the, rowers, the five rowers will cost me around $6,000. Uh, the transportation from Europe to, to Rwanda will cost me around $1,500, and the taxes will be around $3,000. So altogether, it will be $11,000 for the machines to have them here landed in Kigali, Rwanda. So the initial, so the total cost will be around uh, four thousand five hundred for the rented deposit, four thousand five hundred for the renovations, and eleven thousand for the uh, cardio machines. Together, make it twenty thousand dollars. I don't know about you, but that's a whole lot of money for me. So I went back to the landlord to nego to see if we can negotiate a bit of a yeah a, a, a lower rate basically because these things is getting out of hand it uh, cannot afford it uh, as it looks right now so the landlord was willing to lower the rent pr price if i can pay more money in advance his proposal was paying five months deposit in advance plus pay two months of rent in advance and i will get one month of rent free for me to do the renovations so that will make it around $9,100 just for the rent and deposit. But I did like the fact that he was willing to lower the rent price because when I make, when I make investments, I tend to make them for the long term. So this gym location, um, I don't know how long I'm going to be there, but I, I intend to be there for a long time because I'm going to be making a huge investment. So a lower rent price to me sounded very nice. Uh, but he was adamant about paying the deposit, though the five-month deposit in advance, so that I could not lower. I did counter with like, okay, I will pay the five-month uh, deposit, but I want to get three free months instead of one. Uh, we eventually agreed somewhere in the middle, where we I pay five months of uh, rent in advance, um, I get one month free, and the two months after that I pay half price. So that will make it a total of $7,800. So if I add all that up, $7,800 plus $4,500 for the renovations plus $11,000 for the cardio machines will make it $23,300, even more money, but with the upside of having a lower rent in the long term. So because I still had some months left before we actually had to move, I thought I could tap into my savings. I had some savings, but I did not have enough to pay this whole deposit. So I requested a loan from some family and friends for, for, for me to be able to pay this uh, deposit and rent in advance. So after they had agreed, I was confident that now I can sign the lease with the landlord, even though I don't have the money for the renovations at the moment and also not for the, uh, the cardio machines, but we still have like two to three months before we have to actually have to move, also before we have to start with the renovation. So that means in those two months, I need to come up with the money for the renovation. So that's going to be my next big thing. And um, hopefully we'll make it. Ah, Nara Mutse. Good morning to yet another beautiful day right here in Chigali. Today is a special day, guys. Today is the day I'm going to be signing the list to the gym contract signing the biggest contract of my life spending the most money i've ever spent in my life so i thought i'll take you along with me so i just arrived at the location you can see that i've not been recording for a while because i forgot my camera my whole camera bag with everything in it ah uh, and okay.
So you're recording, you're doing it. It's just for, uh, I told you I do some YouTube stuff, eh? Okay. So sometimes I like to do these uh, things. I never know if I'm going to use it or not. But That's good. That's your problem. Yeah. Okay. You cannot hear a thing that I'm saying, but uh, what I was saying is that I was very excited and also very anxious here after signing the lease agreement because I knew after signing it there's no going back. Uh, basically, I have committed to five months of deposit plus two extra months, you know, and I had like three months to, to cancel my lease. So that means technically for the coming year, I'm stuck to this place. Um, but at the same time, I was very excited and, and I don't know how to express this, but this is like a dream come true. So, yeah, it's, it's mixed feelings, but can't wait to make this thing happen. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this kind of uh, videos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to try my best to update you as much as possible and just be honest with you guys, because these things, I feel like it needs to be shared more, in my opinion, so there can be a little bit more transparency on how it is to run a business from Rwanda or from Africa in general. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Now see you the next video. Bye bye.